Hello and welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. If you're new, we do daily videos talking about health and wellness tips and tricks. And in this video, we're going to talk about the right, correct, effective way to do a powerful DIY, which is the well-known fermented rice water method to get long, healthy, shiny hair. So rice is uh, rich in minerals and vitamins, and it's also rich in the B vitamins that really help hair cells to produce plaque pigment and also it's rich in protein it's rich in amino acids and it's rich in um in inositol in uh, inositol sorry and this really helps to protect from damage protect the hair strands from damage uh, protect from hair loss as well and help promote hair growth and uh, especially when it comes to premature graying fermented rice water and the consistent use of fermented rice water helps in a great way when it comes to premature graying now consistency is the key here and also um, it's really important to observe your hair after doing this uh, fermented rice water recipe on your hair because this is not suitable for all sorts of hair types um, it's just, there's people who have seen major developments and major amazing transformations with their hair and there is a small number of people who have noticed that it's not suitable for their hair because it causes uh, you know more breakage and there becomes um, a bit of a problem with you know the whole weakness of the strands and so forth but the majority of people who've tried the rice water method the fermented type see amazing results and i hope that you are one of them so for fermentation why do we ferment the rice water now there's been so much recipes out there where they simply just use the rice water method and it works well for them but in order to boost this recipe even more we're going to go and ferment the rice water and fermentation basically it lowers the ph of the liquid and this is really simple to, and similar to the hair's own pH level and it will be much more easily uh, like notified and identified by the hair and it will also be on the lower side so it's slightly acidic so as a result slightly acidic pH plus the added nutrients through the fermentation process like the probiotics and so forth really help in restoring the hair's own pH balance if there's a problem with that for example when it comes to scalp issues and the fermentation also really helps to nourish the hair follicles and promotes healthy hair growth and it improves the hair condition in general and this is suitable for many different types of hair types of course now there are personal exceptions but uh, people with oily hair have used it and also people with um, a dry damaged hair have also seen great results as well and it's really simple because you would uh, simply start off by focusing on the type of rice that you want to use now there's not big major differences between whether you use um, for example short grain long grain um, basmati or jasmine uh, in terms of the quality but it's best in my situation like I focused on using um, jasmine uh, rice because you're gonna ferment it you're gonna ferment the rice so there will be the smell of the fermentation so with jasmine rice i found that it actually produces the less stinkiest so unfortunately with the fermentation method it will smell not quite strong as other recipes diy hair recipes but there is an aroma attached with it so if you use jasmine rice in most cases it will smell much more lighter and um, there's not that stink associated with for example if you use long grain Grain or you use basmati rice so you start off by rinsing uh, one cup of rice you rinse it with clean water and then you um, uh, basically use one cup of rice to one and a half cups of water and better to use filtered water if you can it's in order to remove um, uh, to soak the rice so uh, first of all you rinse the rice with clean water and then you place the rice in a bowl you pour it with water and you use one cup of rice to one and a half cups of filtered water you let the rice soak for 30 minutes and you swirl it around and lightly knead it until the water turns cloudy and you know that cloudiness associated with the rice water that's what you want to get you want to continue swirling around leave it for 30 minutes and then go back to it and swirl it around even more it will just take you a couple of minutes to do so and then you would need to 
strain out the rice water into a clean bowl and then leave the rice water at room temperature for a day or two until it turns slightly sour and starts to ferment. So um, that way you would simply place it in a, a spray bottle and you would need to spray that on your hair and it would be best if you make a large quantity of it in order to use it every uh, one day every two days for example and stay consistent with that make sure you use it every single day spraying it in the spray bottle you can store the rest in the fridge uh, and it would really help as well so what you've allowed here you've allowed for the fermentation process to take place and you've really nourished your hair by providing the best minerals and vitamin E uh, sorry vitamin B solo vitamins that really help in hair growth as well so we've come towards the end of our recipe if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe and share. I'd love to have you on board. Take care and have a great day. Bye bye.